Hey, hey, everyone, and welcome to the February 9th, 2022 community call. I am going to be hosting for you. My name is Rachel, and I work with API3 on marketing and community outreach, and I'll be your host today. Uh, today's call will be focused on the ETH Denver Hackathon that we are sponsoring along with Amberdata. So here to talk about that with me is Brian. Why don't you say Hello. hi and say some stuff? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good to see you, Rachel. It's been a while. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. So um, I'll let you ask questions about ETH Denver so we can lead into things that you think will be relevant for the community. But I think there's a few things we can talk about about ETH Denver. It's, uh, you know, it's the, the largest and longest running ETH, Ethereum event in the world. So, you know, many people will know about this. Yeah, I'm excited. It's a very, it's a very big uh, conference. We got a lot of um, cool names of people showing up and I'm hoping that we can get a lot of uh, engagement, interest in the hackathon, and make some cool stuff happen. So let us get into it. Um, of course, we're talking about the hackathon today. Uh, as many people that are watching Probably already know, like you said, since ETH Denver is a big deal, API 3 will be at ETH Denver. And um, would you like to give me a little bit of an overview about what we're doing for the hackathon? Like like what we what we got as the challenge or prizes or partners or anything like that? Yeah, we have a, a, we have a whole host of things going on. Um, it's, it's quite interesting. You know, it's a real community. It's massive. There are thousands of people that go along here and it's in... Uh, Denver, of course, in Colorado, in the United States, just if people aren't uh, familiar with that. the uh, It's free entry into this conference or hackathon, or they call it a build-a-thon. Um, so that really encourages people and pre presents no barriers. Um, and there is an in-person component and an online component. So that means anyone from around the world can form teams and get involved with this. So it's a really good thing for API 3 to be involved because there are such a large number of other <clears throat> DeFi ecosystem vendors involved in this that it's great to be there. It's great to have profile. It's great to uh, engage with all of the teams and the individuals and the other sponsors because there is so, so much opportunity for innovation and evolution of this entire ecosystem. And you've really got to be there to do this kind of thing. Um, API 3 certainly feels as though it is really valuable for us and for our community for us to be involved in this because it gives us so many opportunities and gives us an opportunity also for exposure, not only to, to really do practical things in terms of um, partnerships and uh, meeting people that we can begin to form alliances with. Um, so ETH Denver, uh, I'll talk very briefly. API 3 is quite keen on supporting hackathons because as I think people can appreciate, hackathons is really our target market. Our target market is not necessarily directly a consumer market. It is projects that will 
employ our technologies. And those are going to be people who build solutions, not necessarily just developers, because the teams that build these DeFi solutions, they're going to be comprised of a whole multidiscipline team from graphic designers, marketers, um, community managers, um, uh, web designers, um, front end builders, smart contract devs, and the whole host of or whole array of multi skilled resources there. Um, so the API three has been involved in other hackathons, and of late, we've been involved in in December. We were involved in the El Salvador and Bankathon hackathon. And that was quite successful. There were quite a number of people there. And everyone may be very familiar with um, Mr. Bukele from El Salvador, the prime minister there, or president, who is has really embraced Bitcoin as using it for a whole host of things that, if everything pans out, will be so great for the country. It's only such a small country. It really gives them an edge. Um, and this bankathon hackathon was really interesting because it pulled people from all around the world it wasn't of course just constrained to people in el salvador it was open to everyone in the world so we got teams from everywhere involved in that and it's really good to see what people are thinking of and building and that was largely focused on integration with traditional banking systems given that, that they've got a, now a foot in the door of the crypto space and the Bitcoin space, how to integrate that with their traditional mm -hmm. banking systems as one of their, let's say, challenges, challenges or one of the um, uh, objectives that they have. And that hackathon was really focused on that. Um, with ETH Denver, it's far more open. It's far more broad. Um, and I'll talk a little later about the tracks involved. But ETH Denver, uh, because uh, I'll mention some dates here. It's quite relevant because anyone listening here has the opportunity to get involved in the hackathon. And we would encourage that for a whole host of reasons, but I'll talk about that later, I think. Uh, the hackathon starts on February the 11th through to February 20th for the in-person component. And the virtual hackathon lasts from February 11th through to the 21st of March. And there's a closing ceremony on the 25th of March. So it's quite a long running virtual event. And the in person event is for that week or just a bit over a week. And there's a whole host of other activities such as a mountain retreat where everyone goes off skiing for a few days. So, it, so it's a ski -a -thon? Quite a Would you call a that a ski-a-thon? Yeah. Yeah. Some about <laughs> Some of our guys are going. They're not necessarily skiers, uh, but they think they'll. They're going to try. For, yeah, <laughs> they think they'll be good for marketing for API three because they'll face plant and people will be talking about them for the entire conference. Just, just put the API three sticker on the skis, and so when they see the skis go up in the air when they face plant, they'll see the API three on the bottom of the skis, and they'll be like, "Oh, I remember that guy yeah. that fell down." That's how. Yes. That's, how, that's marketing right there. <laughs> Yes, good marketing. Um, so, uh, ETH Denver, ETH Denver, it, it's, it, as I mentioned, it's a really big conference and a really big hackathon. There are over $1 million worth of bounties and prizes from all the different vendors involved. Um, API3 is sponsoring a particular track, but we're anticipating about 400 submissions from various teams across the entire ETH Denver uh, uh, hackathon. So not just particularly in relation to API 3. We would love 400 projects built using API 3 technology. But as you'll see when we talk about some of the tracks, you'll note that uh, some just don't necessarily directly apply to API 3. There are nine different tracks with East Denver, and that is there's one called the Colorado Jam. It's sponsored by the state government of Colorado, and mm -hmm. it is for integrating and enhancing and introducing DeFi and blockchain 
uh, technologies in the way the state is administered and operates. So there's great opportunity there. Um, there's a track called DAOs and Community. DAOs is quite a big focus in this hackathon. And there's another track called DeFi, and that is the track that API3 is sponsoring. There's a track called Impact. Impact is about any initiative that creates good impact for the world or for the DeFi and blockchain and Ethereum ecosystem. Um, um, so it's fairly open. There's another one, another track called Mobile First. And so that is about building solutions that people can just use on the go. Uh, there's another track, NFTs, as people may not be surprised that there would be that topic involved. Um, there's another one called Gaming and Metaverse. Again, this is on the leading edge of some of the... Okay, I'm back. All right. <laughs> I was just going to see if it was me, see if it was you. I was just going to nod and smile. Just, yeah, just, yeah. Okay. I happened. think. It... But we were talking about uh, NFT gaming, uh, or not okay. NFT gaming, but metaverse and uh, uh, yes. gaming. Yes. So gaming and metaverse. Uh, this is really cool. You know, of course, this hackathon or build a thon, this hackathon is going to have a focus on some of those tracks that I mentioned. But um, the, and the next one is infrastructure and scalability, which makes sense at the foundation la layer and the, um, the infrastructure, if you like, of the entire ecosystem. That's quite important. But the last one is quite cool as well, space and the new frontier. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I, I figured that as... Um, decentralized instagram while you're on mars maybe something like that oh. who knows you mean yeah. we could take api3 to the actual moon like that yeah would be, yeah that'd be pretty yeah. cool and i can yeah, see as you're be. as you're talking about these tracks i can already think in my mind of like there are ways even some of the tracks that you may not expect like of course api3 is like you know DeFi and stuff we've we've seen uh hackathon projects uh done with that before especially with the el salvador thing that you mentioned but there, I think there's applications for API 3 in a lot of these, like even with gaming, with NFTs, if you have a project that changes over time that needs that those data points, um, then you can use API 3 for that. So maybe. excellent. We'll, well, see. We'll, we'll see what happens. We might, we might get you to have a chat to some of the devs to suggest this to them. <laughs> um, uh, the, as I mentioned, API 3 is sponsoring the DeFi track. And we're putting up uh, a, a bounty. We're putting up a number of bounties, a total of $25,000 US equivalent, um, which is quite significant. And we've split that to four distinct challenges. And our distinct challenges are one, um, we've given them titles. So the first one is the masses against the classes. And this is a song from I think the 70s or maybe 80s. Anyway, so this is about any project that has the greatest opportunity to attract the largest user adoption mm -hmm. or to show the greatest commercial viability. Um, um, Sounds like a pretty wide open category. Um, well, that, yeah, it, it is. But if we think about what API 3 is all about, which is to support developers. And API 3 and our token holders and our community benefits if there are projects out there that use our technologies. And therefore, if there are projects that have great user adoption, then theoretically that will help promote the product because those projects will be, if you like, powered by API 3, and then that will begin to have some, some retail awareness. 
And so when they see other projects similarly powered by a API 3, they can, well, it, it gives a level of trust and uh, it, it gives a level of trust and ensures that those projects themselves may acquire user adoption by virtue of the fact that API 3 is powering them. So right. that's part of the philosophy there. We're intending to do as much as we can to foster projects for commercial viability and adoption um, rather than the hackathon merely being to produce something of some novelty value and then we just leave it on the shelf and walk away from it at the end of the hackathon our intention is to really identify good teams good ideas and provide not only direct hackathon rewards uh, and bounties but also quite potentially to help foster them on an ongoing basis and how that might look well you know that will be fairly open and our marketing and business development teams will engage uh, to help facilitate that hmm. so, so i'll move on that's more yeah i'll move so on we... to challenge number two which is uncharted hmm. waters and so that's a project that's judged to forge new frontiers in the DeFi landscape. You know, DeFi has evolved with well uh, from well-trodden paths such as over collateralized lending platforms and stablecoin platforms, but now the new use cases such as identity and NFTs and fixed interest um, regimes and so forth that are now coming to the, the fore. If teams can show us how they can embrace those new fi DeFi trends, we'll be impressed by that. Um, and there are a couple of other challenges. One we've just called Say What, which is knock our socks off or break our brain with some uh, innovative use of API, the, uh, API 3 beacons. We're focusing on our beacon technology. And I think this week or next week, there'll be community call where uh, beacons will be uh, explained and discussed. Is that right, Rachel? Yeah, it should be uh, not next week, but the week after that. So our, our biweekly structure will be returning for um, two calls a month or so. And uh, we should have that beacons call pretty soon. Uh, people will hear about beacons more and more as time goes on over the week, especially at Denver and everything like that. But there's already some articles up on the Medium explaining them. And some press releases and stuff already, but um, we will have a community call about that soon. So, yeah, beacons up and coming. Yes. Okay. The last challenge is we've just titled it Knock Our Socks Off, which is the judges award. And again, that's open. There's no strict criteria on that, but that allows the judges to use their discretion if there's a great project. And the way we're splitting our bounties for this is for each of those challenges there's a certain amount allocated to them and then that will be split in half for each of the bounties so that we give the in-person event hackathon participants and hackathon teams the opportunity to win that half and the virtual teams the opportunity to win that other half so everyone gets an opportunity and we're not favoring in-house or virtual at all there so that means and this is probably a good segue to get involved because <clears throat> hackathons are great you know they're a great way to get involved to use your skills and as i mentioned before hackathons aren't just necessarily about software development or solidity skills um it can be many and varied from a wide range of disciplines and it's really good to get involved use your skills learn new skills and um form friendships really and contacts in the industry because that is so valuable you know there are people in even within api3 who i have now spent or coming on a year now working quite closely with <clears throat> and we we've developed real friendships and it's not only great to work with them, but at the end of calls, uh, a lot of the calls we have will, um, the vast majority of people will leave the, 
the call, but then we'll have an after party. So we can talk about <laughs> our fam family and our kids and um, yeah, uh, connections surfing. are really important. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's good. And then when everyone can travel again, uh, freely, yeah. well, then it opens up a whole hop host of opportunities. But um, um, uh, the, the, being involved in the hackathon is great for those reasons and also for achieving something because these uh, sprints to produce a, sub, a working submission or a, uh, a valid submission for the hackathon means that there's something meaningful that's achieved. And of course, there's also the prizes. I mean, the prizes in of themselves may not necessarily um, feed and clothe you and house you um, full time, but it is an excellent stepping stone because it certainly gives motivation and compensation for some of the effort involved in those hackathons. But as I mentioned, APR3 is looking for good projects that we can help nurture and uh, help quite potentially uh, turn into good commercial products. So that's what we're r really interested in and that's why there's this call for get involved if you've got any skills you'd like to apply to help form a team or form one of the existing teams get involved in the hackathon um it's on ethdenver.com so it's eth denver.com and it's got everything there and as mentioned the entry is free and you can get onto their discord and that's linked on the ETH Denver website and begin to just engage with the community. You can see all of the vendors there and their channels, as well as there's team building channels, there's DeFi channels, there's channels for all of those tracks that I mentioned. Um, uh, but it's worthwhile having a poke around and ask questions, talk to people, see if you can um, add something that might be of good value for the hackathon but um i definitely encourage people to get involved because you know a quite a, could very well be good for api3 but also it's good for the individuals but also it's good for the entire DeFi and like the the meta ecosystems the more people we've got involved in that and we need a lot of good people then the better and the greater opportunity to really embrace the 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 benefits that all of that new paradigm gives us that helps us break away from some of the things that haven't worked in the past let's say yeah and like you said there's ample opportunity for everybody to get involved because it is it has an online component as well so the there's the online hackathon and there's the in-person hackathon but if you can't travel like you know, a lot of people probably aren't able to travel right now um, with the whole pandemic and everything going on. You can do stuff virtually or maybe you don't want to travel because you're the kind of person that feels more comfortable just working off a screen. And that's totally fine because you can mm -hmm. join online and you can, like you said, communicate with the discord on eatdenver.com. They got the link to the, the discord and you can get in there and start talking to people and start making some digital friends. And maybe you've got a piece of a good idea and you find somebody else who has another piece that fits in with your idea and you can make a team and you can get together and i really like that online collaboration that happens when you find like-minded people that are excited about the same thing that you're excited about and you can sit there and talk together and maybe make cool stuff happen so hopefully that's what comes out of this hackathon both in person if you can go and online if you can yes I think you nailed it. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts, Rachel. I, I really am excited for what could come out of this because, you know, the beacons is the new thing. I'd like to see what people can come up with um, to use beacons. I've been looking around at a whole bunch of mostly projects in the NFT space and the, the gaming uh, metaverse kind of space, which I think is super fascinating being somebody who's always loved art and video games and things like that to see them kind of translate into this web three space is really cool. Um, seeing the stuff that people are making and I can see projects here and there where I'm like, Ooh, you could use API three. You could use API three. Well, how would that, you know, transform projects and stuff like that? And it's just exciting. Um, I, I'm really excited to see what comes out of this. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a really interesting point. And probably the point that is poignant there is 
you have skin in the game being involved with API3 as many people quite potentially listening to this will have. They'll be coin holders, governance token holders, and they'll be involved in the DAO in terms of either themselves voting directly or through a delegated vote. And really, there's great benefit for those token holders to spread the word, to talk to anyone who can quite potentially, for example, become involved in this hackathon, encourage them um, and spread the word. So that is always highly valuable. So the community, I think here with API3 is uh, a, a very valuable asset for API3 as a whole, which includes the token holder community. Mm, yeah. And like you said, it's, you know, API3 is a DAO. Like being a token holder means something more than just holding a token, right? You know, so the the growth of API3 as a whole is exponentially beneficial to everybody that becomes a part of it. So whether you become a part of it by holding tokens and having governance or by working on a project that includes API3 or something like that, it's this big, huge interconnected ecosystem. And I think that's really cool. That's exciting. There are a few things like, well, I say exciting a lot on this call already, but that's amazing. Let's use the thesaurus a little bit. Um, but I, it's something that's kind of part of what um, attracted me to API3 in the first place was like, oh, we're building this community. There's, there's this stuff happening and everybody's learning together. Everybody's discovering new things together. It's the bleeding edge of the Web3 kind of space. This is an emerging technology and that's, it's cool. It, it's cool to be a part of that. So I hope that people um, through ETH Denver, maybe they haven't heard of API3 before, maybe they have, um, can take the opportunity to be like, oh, I can add API3 beacons into my project and grow the space even further for, for development in the future. So. Yep. Yes. Boy. Um... API3 is holding a party. So if you're anywhere near Denver, get down there on the 15th of February uh, from 5 p.m. There is a, a party. Uh, Rachel, are you going to post anything um, with links if people are interested? I mean, there is the ETH Denver website, but um, if you want right. to have a look there, uh, have a look for the API3 party. It'll be on the calendar for the 15th of February. We've uh, we've got our own beer for that um, for that event for Amber it's called an Amber Ale because we we have our partner Amber Data who is going to be involved in that and so we've had some special beers I would like to say made up but it's really just labelled the beers especially for hey, Amber hey. Data yes. but they look cool so yes. I like this even though it's a sticker on the beer it still looks nice so. Yeah, it's good. And so far, there are about hmm, about 180 people just registered for that event. But it's um, exciting. No, yep. And there are a lot of vendors involved in ETH Denver, as I mentioned. I haven't been able to keep up with the events and the parties that are going on. But it's got like Algorand, Balancer, Harmony, Opolis, Reef, Vega, um, Mesh Logo, Polygon. Uh, scale one inch. Um, it's a lot of big names. A lot of, a lot yeah, of like you said, these events are uh, not only if you participate in the hackathon or any part of the event, you have the opportunity to kind of link up with some really big people um, that want to be there talking to people and making connections and um, just kind of it's a, it's a good place to go if you want to get further into the community whether that be building something through the hackathon or just meeting people or learning new stuff, it's it's a good place to be. So if you can make it to the in-person event and get one of our exclusive deluxe special brand API3 beers, then that would be cool. But if you can't, then the digital is there too. And I think a lot of the stuff like um, talks and whatnot will be live streamed. There'll be a, a digital component that's worth checking out as well. Mm. Now, what else have you got for me, Rachel? Because I shouldn't talk much longer. I've just kind of uh, described, let's say, described <laughs> a little bit. Because, I think uh, that is 
it's good. Everything that you've been saying um, is exactly what I wanted to cover. Like, what are we doing with the hackathon and kind of eat Denver as a whole for people who may not know. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we've covered all of that, actually. So uh, I hope that it has been an informative call for the people that have tuned in. I've been checking the viewers on the Twitter stream going up and down, and we've had some people listening. So I feel like this right. is pretty good. <laughs> do do any of the hundreds of people watching this at the moment? Do they are listening in? Do they want to ask any questions? Is there an opportunity there? Or of the billions of people facility? that are currently tuned in, we currently have five billion people tuned in. Five, five um, billion. Yes. <laughs> I do not see any questions posted in the um, comments currently uh, underneath our internet. Twitter post. Yes, yeah. I know the servers have crashed. No one can comment. Um, but I'm it's the sure third time this week you've broken the uh, internet, Rachel. I'm sorry. It, I'm sorry. I need to stop doing this. It's, it's a problem of mine, but, yep. um, if people do have questions, there will be another broadcast. Um, not next week, but the week after that is the plan. Uh, we'll be talking about beacons and as always, um, there will be a link to a Google form that if you want to ask questions in advance, maybe you can't make the live stream, um, you can ask those questions and we can field some of those during the live stream. And this will be recorded and uploaded to YouTube so you can get an answer to your question, hopefully, uh, when you have time to watch it, because I understand that this is a live broadcast for us, but maybe some people are asleep and some people are just waking up, some people are at work, you know, people live all over the world, that's kind of, the magic and the downside of the interconnectivity that we have with the internet is we can connect with people all over the world. So some of them are asleep when we want to talk to them and it just happens. So, you know, Thanks for um, your insightful <laughs> philosophy there, Rachel. Um, um, I, I, <laughs> now I'm the I think it's, one. <laughs> I, think, I think it's worthwhile mentioning, just get on the discord. If there's anything that occurs to you, if you're, or if you're, interested in getting involved with ETH Denver, you know, shoot us a couple of questions. The guys um, and gals on the Discord and the Telegram, you know, we'll try and field and fill in any gaps that you might have. But, you know, again, we encourage everyone to get involved and API 3 certainly will continue our involvement with these kinds of endeavors because we think it's great to identify good opportunities because this space is moving quickly and these ideas start off as small seeds and then grow into you know potentially significant projects so um right. that that's what we're doing with i would definitely point anybody who may see this that might not already be a member uh, of the Discord to definitely go in there because the team is quite responsive and, and talking to people. And there's also a Telegram, there's a Twitter. Um, so there's lots of ways to contact um, us, the development kind of team at API3, if you don't have the opportunity to comment on a stream or something like that. So yeah, I think that's been the theme of the call today is get involved, call to action, you know, do do something if you, if you want to get involved so yeah yeah there's plenty of opportunity right right so i think if you have anything else to say before we end the call otherwise no it was really good to have this opportunity thanks for taking the time to ask the questions i hope people found it uh, slightly interesting um we kind of love it this is our this is what we do and we're out there doing a whole host of things this is just one thing that we're doing in terms of promoting api3 and engaging with the greater community and ensuring that we have substantial and meaningful connections with the entire ecosystem which includes our vendors partners uh developers and all the other uh crazy cats that get involved in this space right right so that We'll conclude our first kind of rebooted uh, community call for today. And don't forget, we will be um, uploading this to YouTube as well. So if there was anything that we said that you might have missed or if you weren't able to watch this, then it will be up on YouTube. And we will have a post for the next community call coming up in the next week or two 
uh, where you'll be able to join it again and ask questions and we'll be covering beacons. So stuff that we talked about a little bit today, you'll get more information on in the next call. So thank you very much for joining me today, Brian. Pleasure, Rachel. Take it easy. See ya. You too.